work with the aerodynamics is is not just confined to the tunnel. I mean, you can play with things like we've done in training with the, with the strings all over the body. Another interesting thing we've done is you, we can actually take courses, you know, from point A to point B, and you can model those in a computer program uh, or through some, some different types of software that we have. And you can model it based on, um, obviously, the terrain, um, but based on the wind conditions that that, that that particular course would see or has seen on that particular day for X amount of years. And so you can kind of get an idea for, for example, the final time trial at the Tour this year in Bordeaux is a, is a 30 mile time trial, point A to point B. We can analyze the, the wind data from that section of road you know, over the last, I think, uh, 50 years. And so then you can really start to, without ever having been there. You know, I mean, obviously when we get there that day, you'll say, Oh my God, the wind's totally different than what we thought. But you start to get a sense for what it normally is. And then you can start to create and customize your equipment based on what that model tells you is the best setup. And so that's the bike, that's the wheels, that's the helmet, that's the actual race, the way you'll race the race. And you can do that too for road stages. I mean, we've done certain days where we uh, take a section of a stage, or an entire stage, which can be 100 plus miles, and try and uh, optimize wheel choices equipment choices.